Hi guys, welcome to this Microsoft Access module. In this module, we're going to look at self-join queries and find duplicate queries. First of all, a self-join query. In this table, address details, we have staff IDs and people's names, but we also have a manager ID field at the end there. These managers, this number four and one and 11 represents the ID number, the staff ID number in this table. So 11 is Carol Smith. So the manager for Mr. Chris Collins is ID number 11, Carol Smith. Now to see that in a column, we have to do a self join. So if I close this table down, create a query, query design, add address details twice. Let's close that one down, expand the table slightly. And then I just need to rename this table managers. So next to alias, change that to managers, managers. And then I need to join manager ID field in this table to the staff ID field in this table. So if I want first name, surname, surname, first name and surname from the address details table and I want first name and surname from the managers table. When I run that query, it tells me that Dave Smith as Dave Brown as a manager and Steve Saxton as Dave Smith as a manager and so on. If I go back into design and maybe bring down the manager ID field into there. Um, just move that across one. So for manager ID for managers, have a look at that. Gives you the numbers. So it's telling you which person is the manager for each staff member. So that is a, a self join. For information where you have all the information you require within one table, you, would, you can create a self join query like that to pull extra additional information in rather than doing separate queries. So that's the self join option. Now the duplicates option is as follows. I will save that query self-join just in case I need to refer back to it okay close now to create a duplicates query create query wizard and then find duplicates click OK I'm going to select address details email for this one go next I then need to identify the fields that I want to check so Title, first name, surname are the fields that I would like to check. Select next. And then I need to marry them up with the fields that may well contain duplicate information or not. In this case, I am going to take all of the fields across. And then next. You can rename that if you wish, but I am going to leave that as it is. And then click finish. And I can see straight away, I do have duplicates. Um, ID is the same, address is the same, postcode is the same, phone number is the same. The join date is slightly different, so I would have to check which one of these is correct and then delete the other one. So for argument's sake, I'm going to delete that one. On the second one, the staff ID is the same again, address is the same, postcode is the same. And again, it's the address that's different. So I will delete this one. Yeah. So if I close this query down, Microsoft Access automatically saves a duplicates query. But if I run that query again, I don't have any duplicates. So once you've created this duplicates query, you can have it just sitting in your database and just every now and again, just double click it to run it or click a button to run it just to check that you haven't got any duplicate information. So that's the end of this small session on 
additional queries. I hope you enjoyed this session and I'll see you soon.